And entertainment news now, the National Commission for Museum and uh, a moment, monument rather, has launched the ancient rock art exhibition of photos and monoliths that have been existing for decades found in the forest of southern and northern Nigeria. This project is supported by the U.S. Ambassador's uh, Fund for Cultural Preservation and led by Trust for African Rock Art. Ta Plus TV uh, correspondent Paul George was at the National Museum Lagos in our reports. The exhibition launch, which had nature enthusiasts from different parts of Nigeria and abroad, showcased a slice of Nigeria's cultural dance by the Cross River Group entertaining guests. In the gallery is a display of pictures of collections of paintings and monoliths from Ekom, Cross River, Jigawa and Bauchi states. The Director General of the National Commission for Museums and Monuments, Professor Abba Tijani, in his welcome address thanked the U.S. Embassy for supporting the project by funding the project and thereby preserving the country's cultural mm -hmm. heritage. I want to start by expressing my appreciation to the U.S. Embassy for their partnership but also providing us with funding the collaboration on rock art, the monolith, the rock paintings in Jigawa and Bauchi is just the beginning. I look forward to more collaboration in areas of digitization and capacity building. The United States Acting Consul General Brandon Ospert, while assuring Nigeria of their continuous support, said that this partnership will further deepen the ties both countries already have. Over the past four years, um, we've seen $770,000 of uh, funding going toward preservation projects in Nigeria. In 2017, we funded a project to document the traditional knowledge of the Ifa cultural system in Oyo State. And in 2016, um, we also conducted a project to build the capacity of Nigeria's museum professionals to improve collections, storage, and display. The curator of National Museum Lagos, Amatayo Adeboye, and the project manager of the exhibition, Terry Little, tells us more about the artworks. The ancient art rock actually represents the, the heritage in, in rocks. They are granite rocks which they put coded messages on and they use it to pass messages to people that are initiate. So if you look at some of those econ monoliths, you will see on them some motifs. We've been working on this project for two years, documenting uh, archaeological sites in Cross River State, the monoliths that you see in the exhibition, and then paintings in Jigawa and Bauchi States. I think whenever we're in the field, we work very closely with the chiefs uh, and the community people, uh, representatives and follow whatever instructions they may give us on how to, to deal with them. And often, yes, they may pay poor libation. The Rock Art Exhibition is built for a tour from Lagos to the museum in Calabar and in Zaria. And as the event winds down, Consul General Ospert cut the ribbon to officially declare the gallery open, even as estates gather to feed their eyes with the new collections of the artworks. Paul George, Plus TV News. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.